I think it's something that starts happening when you get closer to actually leaving. You begin developing this sense of really excited to be living your own life and seeing the world as if you're going to be super rich and then your first bill comes through and, and that has to be paid and you've just got to figure it out. Which is what life's about, I reckon. Having hope through living it large, covered in a big messy dollop of reality, which we make happen because of this thing we call resilience. You can't touch it, you can't buy it, but you can grow it and you can learn it. See, I'm one of those people who likes other people, wants to help other people. Sometimes I reckon people do this job without having been part of the system. Whereas I'm doing it because I was. I've been a child in care. It's strange, isn't it? If you want to become a footballer, you probably join the junior team. If you want to be an actor, joining the youth theatre might help. But absolutely no one says, I want to help young people in care, so I'll just get myself a placement. It's the other way around. You have the experience can't help having the experience if you're here, but it's what you do with the experience that shapes you. People can have some experience and then that's it for them. They're done with it. They know how it is and either want or don't want to repeat it. Like, for me, it's a roller coaster. No way, absolutely no way ever again, but, but what if I had to? Or something similar where I'm not repeating the same experience but facing up to a similar sort of situation. How do I deal with that and what's happened before that helps me deal with it? Yeah, that's what life is. There's good bits and, and there's difficult bits. It's how you cope inside that counts. The good bits have their tricky moments too, don't get me wrong. Politeness, gratitude, how you interact with other people all needs the right way of being. And some of it's useful with dealing with the difficult bits too. But the difficult ones need a bit more effort. Take the roller coaster. My instinct would be to grip tight, probably shut my eyes so I can't see everybody else with their hair flying everywhere enjoying themselves from the thrill of the ride. Whereas I'm trying not to throw up and scream at the same time. So I have to use my experiences to help me deal with another roller coaster if I need to. For now, being on life's waltz is enough. You get the ups, you get the downs, you get spun around, but you never feel quite out of control. And that's how it should be.